Hey everybody, this is Leon and I have some good news. In this video, I'm going to show everybody who is hesitating to get a Chromebook for web development that it's totally possible, you don't need to be afraid, it's going to work out. I was in the same situation and here I am, I'm super happy. So, I'm going to show you the steps, uh, what I did to get into this happy state. These steps are very simple. I think there are three steps. Step number one, get the Chromebook. Uh, also get one which is kind of like a high-end Chromebook. There are also some kind of watch YouTube video only Chromebooks, but I think you want to get a higher-end Chromebooks. And the good news is, they're getting better and better and better. Don't worry about the, the hard drive size. Um, I got a 128 gig USB stick, a really tiny small one. It just sticks, it's like one centimeter out of my Chromebook. No problems at all. Uh, secondly, um, you don't want too much features on your Chromebook because most Chromebooks are um, very, very nice concerning battery life. So this, this Chromebook, the Acer 14, is lasting, let's say, 12 hours before I have to recharge it. That's great. It, I, I'm so happy about that. I can just go anywhere without having to worry um, about charging. So step number two is put your Chromebook in um, developer mode. Um, if you don't put your Chromebook in developer mode, then you won't be able to get into the terminal. And for obvious reasons, the Chromebook is very practical, very simple. So in order to get a terminal, you need to put it in developer mode. Once you've put it in developer mode, you can just press Control Alt T and then you'll get this terminal. Boom. You only have to enter shell like I just did. And then you're in your Gen2 Google file system. The only tip is don't mess with this file system. The Chromebook is really great because it automatically patches your Linux system with security updates, the latest Chrome version. This is really sweet like all the stuff you don't want to do. So because you want to keep this the way it is, there was a really cool guy who wrote a shell script called Crouton. What Crouton does is it will set up a Ubuntu or Debian uh, file system in your file system. So you can mess with that instead of the Google file system. So once you've installed that, um, you can just enter this to enter your Ubuntu system. Actually, I created an alias to make it a bit more. I just enter Ubuntu and boom, I'm inside my Ubuntu. So this made me very, very happy. It also made me very, very happy because, you know, sometimes you mess up your, your distribution, you want to start over, and you can run multiple crudes at the same time. This is, this is crazy. You can also run uh, an X server. Honestly, I'm not really using this graphical Linux stuff because the App Store, or let's say the Chrome Store, um, and the App Store, there are plenty of cool apps there. There is um, in the web store, there are Chrome extensions and Chrome apps. The only difference is that uh, Chrome apps can do more like access to the file system, etc. And the Play Store also really cool. There are plenty, plenty of video editing apps and other desktop apps. So long story short, I don't really need this this graphical Linux environment. Chrome OS is is good 
already by itself. So that's that's great news. It made me very very happy. So when I uh, got this crouton up and running, the only thing I did was um, install this shell script called NVM. And with NVM, I can just run multiple node versions um, depending on the project I'm working on. So that also made me really easy. I'm so flexible. I'm not locked into any distribution. I can swap distributions. And I'm also not locked into a certain node version. So this is happy times. For a web developer, I was really amazed to you know, get the automatic Chrome updates and, and be so flexible concerning my, um, my setup. So uh, having that said, there was uh, one thing I, um, I needed to work around, um, which is actually the file system. You have a crude file system here, um, but your file system, um, it's limited to only your downloads directory. So the downloads directory is actually your, your, your access to the file system and actually the Google file system. So what we want um, is also to be able to access our crude, our Ubuntu crude in our file manager, right? So there is a way, to, a really easy way to do that once you know it. It's you click this thing, add new services, you click SFTP, you click mount local host, and then boom, here it is. I have access to my crude. And this is really easy because there are some amazing apps, Chrome apps, let's say um, Z, yeah, this one. And this is a, a sublime-ish editor with lots of features and um, even though it has great support for for uh, mounting github repositories etc remote folders you can also just uh, click local folder now and then it opens the file browser which contains your uh, mounted folder and then you can just um, open a, a project so you have access to your crude, and this was uh, this took me a bit to figure this out, but this is a really easy way to do this. So, um, is there more? No, not really. This is actually um, this is actually I think a, a a proof for people who are hesitating, like should I get a Chromebook for web development? I would say yes if you're not afraid of the shell which I think a web developer shouldn't, then this is totally fine. It, it works totally well. And my advice is leave the Google Gen2 file system alone and use Crude using Crouton. If you do that, you're going to be happy, just like I am. And right now I'm going to grab a cup of coffee, wish you a great day, and I'm going to continue to be happy. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.